All right, guys, today uh, we've been catching these little stalker trout over the past couple weeks, uh, stocked in the local little fins lake. But uh, as you can see, I've had these froze here in the vacuum pack for, I don't know, a couple weeks or so. But today I'm going to make me and my son some real easy hobo lunch packs using these trout. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to use some spicy danos for mine seasoning uh, my son likes spicy stuff to a degree but not as much as me so I'm going to use this uh, Mr. Bob's rub on his so I've got my two pieces of aluminum foil laid out here I'm going to go ahead and put down some danos on mine Put down some bobs for his. I like this Danos because it's low sodium, but it still tastes good. It's hard to make stuff taste good without salt, but low sodium, zero calorie made right here in Kentucky. Pretty good stuff. They've got original and spicy. It says right there on it, yum, yum, get you some. What else could you ask for? All right, so now that I got this down, I'm going to open up my trout here. Put down two, two per pack. Go ahead and put a couple pieces of this butter on each one. I'm going to open these guys up, get a little bit of seasoning down in them. Still just a little bit frozen, but not too bad. Little bobs on his. Now here's a trick to making this quick and easy if you want to make it all at one time. As you guys know, if you cook fish before, <clears throat> fish almost always cooks fast. So, a friend of mine showed me this trick. You can buy these pre-cooked vegetables. I bought potatoes asparagus spears got some carrots some mushrooms My son's not too crazy about mushrooms but he can pick them out and i took some fresh onion chopped it up and got it all mixed up together in this bowl here now you can buy these vegetables already mixed up like a medley it's already cooked but the idea of this is is to make it quick and easy because fish cook so fast that there's no way you could cook potatoes and carrots and vegetables like, like that along with the fish without overcooking the fish unless you cook the vegetables earlier and then added the fish to it. So you can use whatever kind of vegetables you want. That's what I, what I took. So we'll put out right over top of that butter. more there than we need then we'll take more seasoning go over top put a chunk of butter on top guys up
he could wrap these up more than that, but as long as you leave, um, you don't have to flip these, so as long as you leave this original bottom side down, everything's going to stay in there. It's not going to leak out. All right, let's open the garage door and see if our coals are ready. Oh, yeah. Kind of evenly spread those out so you could do these over a fire you can do them on the grill you can put them in the oven but the nice way about this method like i said with those pre-cooked vegetables if you're catching trout and want to just eat on the bank of the stream or if you're camping out and you want to keep things quick and easy you can just throw all this on there together at one time and be good to go. <laughs> Cover it over. We'll give that probably about 10 minutes or so and then we'll check it. Also, just so happened to have one lone piece of salmon left in the freezer thawed it out slept it on a piece of wet cedar put some of that bob drub on it go ahead and cook it up too mmm hear that sizzle keep in mind with these guys <clears throat> good thing about these shoo sun's bright Good thing about these is you can use any kind of vegetables you want you can use any kind of seasoning you want i know a lot of people associate <clears throat> lemon and lemon pepper and that kind of thing with trout fresh lemon but uh i wanted to try them like this just because i like more of a savory type spice myself and i wanted to see just how good these pre-cooked vegetables would be obviously they're not as healthy as Fresh vegetables, but can't have it all, I guess. Exactly, yeah. Good guess. All right, guys, about 12 minutes in, looks like. looking good go ahead and pull it off let it set for a minute <clears throat> good thing about cooking this way if you do overcook them a little bit you got these closed up with all that butter in there and it just just keeps re-steaming itself it stays good and juicy because there's a lot of bones in trout but where it's done now if you just take your fork and just real easy pull out pull out some pieces it'll, it'll come right off the bone i'm seeing no bone yeah, uh, a little bit in there. There we go. Just be careful when you chew it, but try it out. So you can eat the skin, it's good too. Okay. Does it taste good? Really? Just bony? Mushrooms ain't that bad. And usually I'd say yuck. Now look, <clears throat> here's what's cool. Once you get the top half of it ate, if it'll cooperate right, you can grab that. Pull those right out. I want to give it to the dog, but he'll die. No, don't do that. No. 
And you still might have some little bones up your top, see that, but you just gotta be careful. All right, that actually turned out really good. I'm gonna grab this chunk of salmon off the grill. Just be careful with trout when you eat it. If it's not filleted properly, especially with young kids, because oh yeah, that's good. Because it is loaded with bones, so just be careful when you eat it. Be careful when you eat it. Take your time. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video. We'll see you on the next. One.